Right, this is now the Cook Speed Shop. It's back to buggy van action. I'm installing the spare on the back of my van. I've got a Circle Ink spare tire mount mounted on the door. I've got my mag wheel mounted up. I'm in the process of making the bracketry to hold it on here. But if you want to learn more about putting a spare on the back of a van, you're going to want to watch right now. Hey, it's springtime here finally now. It's uh, stopped snowing, I think. Knock on wood, knock on van. And uh, you see me, if you've been following along, I've been working on my 37 Ford. I'm taking a break for a couple of seconds here. I want to work on my van today. This is my boogie van. If you saw the build series on this, this is the 88 Ford Econoline. I've been, I did it all winter. It was a handicap van. I unhandicapped it. It had a body lift. It had all kinds of crazy electronics. It, I took all that crap out and uh, backdated the front end to 77. So now it's looks like a 77 van on the outside, 77, 78. But on the inside, it's uh, going to be full buggy action. So what I want to work on today is I have to start cleaning this out. I've been storing the whole interior all winter. I want to get ready now that it's warm out to do the Herculiner on the floor and get ready for prepping to put the interior in it. And uh, what I wanted to do today, besides cleaning it out, is uh, I wanted to start putting some accessories on the back. I bought a uh, spare tire mount that I definitely want to mount today. I have a ladder I think I'm going to hold off on. Then I got window louvers, but the temperature has dropped down where I don't think it's warm enough for me to put the louvers on because they use adhesive. And it's got to be between 65 and 80 degrees, and it's not that out today. It's like 50. So I'm not going to put the louvers on, but I'm going to show you what they look like here in a second. Hold on a second. Here are the louvers. They are plastic, like ABS plastic, I'm going to guess. And they, what they do is they have little Velcro pieces that adhere to the window. But basically, they stick on and it gives you your uh, your 70s uh, window treatment of the louvered windows like that, how all the vans had back in the day. And uh, you stick them on some two-sided Velcro. Then the Velcro sticks on the glass really good and then these things stay on there. Now this van has the flip-out windows here. Right here, like this factory, factory flip-out windows. And even when the windows are flipped out, the plastic visors stay, or uh, plastic shades, vent shades stay on the glass like that. So, like I said, it's a little too cold to put these on today, but once it gets back up, like into the 70s, I'll be able to get some uh, clamps. You just gotta set, let them sit for like 24 hours. So I'll get the Velcro pieces stuck on and I'll get some little plastic like banana clamps and we'll pop the window out and clamp the clamp and let it sit out in the sun for like a day so the adhesive really sets up on the on the little panels but it's too cold to do that today and it's the side of the rain that's why the van's backed in here like this so I'm going to set these aside we're going to get out the uh, spare tire mount we're going to mount that up on the van today and I can put my my uh, mag wheel spare up on the back of the van Right, for the spare tire mount, I bought this online. It's uh, Circo, S-U-R-C-O, Circle Products. They're out of Los Angeles. It's Circo, CircoInc.com is where it makes this. But it is a nice, I think it's powder coated uh, spare tire mount. And what it does is it, it slips over your door hinges like that. And then you drill two holes in the door and essentially it mounts the spare here. A little bit up in the tire or up in the window area, but you can still see the license plate. I had this on the van before, just eyeballing it out, but I didn't. I didn't mount it permanently, but it goes and it bolts right to the door, and it mounts your spare out here on the back of the van. And since I'm not going to have any interior space with my uh, my bunk set up, I'm going to put the spare on the back door here. And I tried it before with the spare. There is room for the windows to to swing out even with the louvers on it. So this installation is pretty simple. It essentially just sits on your on your hinges like this. There's a little bolts to go through to clamp it so it can't come out and then you bolt it to the door. Um, it's like a universal fit and I, was, I can already see there's an issue. Um, the door has a a curve to it and this bracket is straight up and down. Now I'm sure you could probably just crank the bolts through and like bend the door to make it fit, but I don't think that's the best plan. So I'm going to take 
my uh, cutoff wheel and I'm going to cut a slot in this and I'm going to tweak it and weld it back up so it fits the curvature of the door. So uh, I'd feel a lot more comfortable with that having it actually fit the door. I think I also want to cut a piece of rubber to go behind this uh, this big this big piece of steel so it doesn't uh, rub on the door and create an area. I've got a little bit of flat rubber. I think I'll do that. I'll stick a little bit of flat rubber on here as like an isolator to the door. But this uh, whoa, careful. This uh, you drill through your door edge, which is pretty thick here, so it's a strong spot to mount it. You drill through the door, and it it makes a makes a makes a pretty strong installation. It's even just holding my thumb. It's pretty pretty beefy here. Do you ever do anything dumb for no apparent reason? Well, I cut it, and I took a little sliver out here, and I bent the piece to make it fit the door perfect. But before that, I did that. I screwed up, and I started cutting this piece. I hit it up in the vise upside down backwards, and I got confu confused. And I didn't have it marked with a marker because I figured I wasn't smart, I wasn't dumb enough to screw it up. Well, I screwed it up, so I got to weld that up. But I've got to also got to weld this up. But it fits the door nice now. It um, get on there. Yeah, it bent it just enough where it, now it fits real tight to the door all the way around. I'm still gonna put a piece of rubber behind it, but it fits the uh, the door shape nice now. So it'll be a lot better. It won't be a big head almost like an eighth inch gap at least at the top. Now it'll clamp nice and flat to the curve of the door. So I'm happy with that. I'm just gonna go ahead and weld these weld these cuts up. I went and I did it now. I already drilled a hole in the door. We're gonna drill another one, ready? Yikes. What I did what I did do is I went and I found some uh, 516 stainless steel uh, mushroom or button head allen screws and I'm going to use those to uh, hold this thing to the door to make it a little a little more trick and they won't rust but they won't they're a lot smoother than a uh, you know a hex head hex head bolt so you won't catch your hand on it or anything while you're in here monkeying around with the door just temporarily put this on here while we'll this checked out. Yeah, there. That's awesome. The bracket. See, I, I welded it up. I ground it down all smooth, and uh, won't be able to tell I welded on it. But it fits the door perfectly. The curve, everything is good. And uh, this is already shored up pretty good. And over here on the hinges, these are where they got to go, but they are so wide. The, the door hinge is about, I don't know, 3 16ths thick, and, the, and these clamp-on pieces are like half an inch. And I guess they like pinch down and you squeeze them. I'm going to get some a little bit thicker rubber, just kind of lay it in there. Um, I'll kind of like taco it in. Wait, are you looking at me? Come over here and look at me. There we go. We'll have to taco it, taco it into the rubber, poke a hole through it, and it'll just ride in there, and that'll keep the sink from rattling. But we're already uh, pretty much mounted. Like I said, with the wheel, these uh, these half-inch carriage bolts, and they got these little uh, metal star pieces that hold things together. You jam them on here, and that'll hold the carriage bolt in there. I'm not really excited about an, a regular nut. It's not going to fit the wheel correctly. I'd really like to put some uh, half-13 fine thread bolts in here so I could use an actual lug nut, two lug nuts to hold the wheel on here. Um, I think that would be a lot better. But can I stick this on here without getting it. Can I get it back off? That's the next question. And we'll we'll do this. Oh, you know what? It also need, I believe it also needs a longer bolt because I, I when I tried this out I had this big half inch bolt in here because my mag wheel is uh, aluminum and it needs a longer bolt, I believe. So let's dig that out wherever it went. Oh, it's buried up there. I got the spare. Let's just try to but eyeball if that stud is even going to be long enough, I don't think it is. No, not even long enough. Okay. Yikes. Okay. All 
All right, so the, the studs hold the actual wheel because the tire hits the tube, tube frame of the spare tire mount. So um, I need a longer bolt like this. And so I think I'll get some half inch 20 so I can use actual lug nuts, like I said. But it, there are two holes. There we go. That'll line up two holes like that. Um, let me get two uh, half inch bolts and some washers and we'll just kind of bolt this on here and try it out and see how it looks. Okay, I put two of the bolts in. That centers the tire up on the window, which I think looks good, even though it looks off center on the mount here. That's just kind of how it works out, I guess. That clears that. Bam, look at that. So now we've got spare mounted here. It just It's pretty solid without having the bolts and the clamp and the hinges together here. This Luckily this rim is aluminum. I mean these are made to mount steel spares on the back of these vans too. So hopefully it won't stress crack this door and it's mounted out here. I could drill another hole and put like a plate in the door to help spread the load out. But I don't know if that's completely necessary. Um, like I said this wheel doesn't weigh that much. And kind of, and yeah, we got two bolts in there, but there, there we got the spare mounted temporarily. Let's open the door and see how it operates with the, the weight of the tire on the door. You can tell it's a little heavier, but I think it's all right. Let's see, does the tire hit the body of the van? Yeah, the tire hits the body of the van, but it's right about where the limit strip stretch it strap it, the limit strap. It's about where that hooks in. Yeah, I could put a plate up in there if, I, if I'm worried about it, but I don't think it's going to be necessary. Yeah, it's not, it's not too bad. Let's see how it closes. It puts, I can tell it's, it's putting a little bit of weight because it's dragging the rubber. When I open the door, it doesn't open up. I can tell there's a little bit of weight on there as it drags drags off the, uh, there's little plastic rubbers down here. I can tell it's putting a little bit of weight on that. That's the uh, license plate rattling. But that, that seems to be pretty sturdy. And then when you close the other door, you know, it, it gets even, the other door holds on there. So it, it stiffens right up. So I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be okay. Like I said, there's vans have had spares mounted on the back of them for years and years. Okay, so I ended up finding some uh, half 20 fine thread bolts I had and I went and I cut them off and I welded them in to the bracket here and I've got some primer on it now. I'm just waiting for this to dry and uh, prime this up. I'll hit it with satin black. This is powder coated. I found that out oh, and scratched it there. Dang it. Anyway, so I've got that ready to go. So when that goes on here, I'll have uh, I'll be able to use regular lug nuts, lug nuts on the, uh, the bolts here and They'll be good. I welded it. That'll be fine. The wheel doesn't weigh that much. I went and I masked off my bolt holes here and I just hit some paint that's going to dry flat black paint where I drilled the two holes in the door to hopefully uh, slow down the rust a little bit and I'll put some uh, uh, grease or something on there to try to keep the uh, moisture from rusting the door if it ever gets in there or actually fluid film. I'll put fluid film on it. That's what I'll do. Use a little fluid film on there around the bolt holes so they it repels moisture, but this is a, once painted black, it's going to go right on here and um, it's getting late tonight. So I'll let this dry. I'll hit it with flat black or I mean satin black. And then uh, we'll finish out the video by mounting the spare up with the lug nuts and we'll take a look and see how it looks uh, all mounted up, completed on the van. Okay. It's a couple days later. I've painted the bar and I've got it mounted here permanently. I did what I said I was going to do. I cut a little piece of rubber and I put behind the pad. I put a little bit of fluid film around the bolt so it would go and uh, not get rust in there. I also bolted the clamps on over here. I took the same piece of rubber I used to cut here. And I made a little rubber strip that went around the hinge and I ran a piece of electrical tape around it to hold it. Now this is this is right on here really good. It doesn't uh, rattle or nothing. The rubber took up the gap in that bracket on the hinge. And uh, now I'm ready to put the spare on. Got two chrome lug nuts here. 
Where's the spare? You know what? I should wipe the blue letters off. Let me clean the blue letters off here real fast, and then we'll put the spare. Yeah. Trying to stick to good here. Up top. Oh, up over here. My goodness. There we go. My uh. My white letters aren't exactly centered to hang perfectly straight on this, but that's okay. Get the point, I'll put the valve stem up. Like that. Look at this, this is awesome. I'm glad I put these half inch 20 studs in here so I can use regular lug nuts. Because this makes the makes it way better. Where's my lug wrench? Down there. How tight my tightness. I think it sucks the tire into the bar a little bit. Yeah. I don't I just don't want them loosening them up loosen up, you know. Hmm. It puts a dimple in the tire because it's using the pressure of the tire. Now I'm gonna do I'm gonna use an open face lug nut. And I'm going to thread it on the back side of this, these studs so I can bolt the wheel to itself and I'll shim it so it's just barely, right now the, the tube the, the tube of the tire carrier is pushing into the sidewall of the tire and I don't want to put a divot in the sidewall and have it be that way forever. It'll end up impregnating, it'll end up impreg not impregnating, impressioning the side of the tire forever if it, I do that. So I'm going to take this back off spacer it out and then have it push in there and then then I can get a positive lug nut to you know and I can crank these right down because it'll be steel on steel steel on aluminum let me do that okay there we go I got it I used uh, one lug nut and a flat washer on the back and I was able to get the tire so it just comes up and it just touches the uh, the tubing back here so now the wheel is mounted right to the bracket solid from here and not using the rubber so I won't get those indentations in the sidewall. And the spare is mounted. We're ready for action. Bam! Look at that. Bam! So there we go. One step closer to the boogie van action. As you can see, in the meantime I've cleaned the inside of the van out. Once it gets a little bit warmer out I'll be able to scuff this whole thing with uh, some sandpaper, herculiner the whole inside of the floor, and then I can get some plywood and start building the bulkhead and the floor covering and all that stuff. Start getting the carpet in here. Start building the bunks and all that. And uh, we'll be on our way to having the, the whole inside done. Why doesn't this come out? One of these doors was sprung. This one was bent. I had to straighten it out. But anyways, so we got the spare mounted up. She's ready to go. Hang on the back there. It looks good. And uh, if it gets warmer out, I'll stick my put my uh, window louvers on and then it will be awesome. I think I might hold off on the uh, on the ladder for now. Not sure but I don't think I'm going to do that so there we go. Back on the boogeyman. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Putting out videos on Wednesdays and Sundays. I appreciate everybody watching. We're over 10,000 subscribers now so tell your friends. Let's get, let's get up to 20 and uh, we'll see you right back here doing cool stuff with a bunch of old junk cars at the quick speed shop. I'm a professional, don't try this at home.